Greetings and welcome to Eat It Lose after a short hiatus. Um, I'm back. Hey! So today I'm going to test out this device. It's called Spread That! Exclamation point. Spreads butter fast. Soften butter with the warmth of your hand. So it's a knife that heats up with the warmth of your hand so you can spread butter more quickly. So let's just jump right in and give this a shot. I have, as you can see in front of me, two sticks of butter. This one has been in the refrigerator and this one has been in the freezer. So, oh, and I guess I should show you the packaging before I get too far. So there's that. Spread that. Merle would like to see too, buddy. You gotta stay down. Here you go, Bubba. You stay right there. That's Merle. He's awesome. Okay, um, so I'm gonna go ahead and open this up. And open this up. And weird thing, I have a fingerprint on the thing. So weird. Uh, from from like when I touched Merle. So I guess it has um, it reacts to like oils or something. I don't know. So. I'm going to go ahead and get a baseline on this, the a temperature baseline on this. I have an instant infrared thermometer, so I'm going to go ahead and it is 76.1 degrees. There you go. So that's our baseline. I'm going to hold it in my hand for a little bit and see what happens to see how much it actually heats up. And with my other hand, I'm going to very awkwardly unwrap this butter. There we go. So what I'm supposed to do is uh, use the serrated edge to kind of cut off curls. Hey buddy, stay down, thank you. Uh, cut off curls of butter and then I spread it on the toast, which I have right here. So let's see how this is heating up. Oh, 81.6 degrees. So it's heating up a little bit. 81.3 degrees. So, so yeah, it's not heating up a lot. 82. So okay, it's heating up pretty quickly. The longer I hold it in my hand, there's the reading right now. There we go. 82.2 degrees. And now 73 degrees. I don't know how well this is actually heating up. Yeah, hi. <laughs> hey, buddy. Okay, so let's go ahead and give this a shot. See how it goes. Merle would like to play. He's very playful. I'm just gonna shred off some curls. So supposedly it's it's heating up the knife with the heat from my hand. And it seems to be working pretty well. Merle. Merle. Hey bub. Come on, Bubba. Come on. Hi. I'm gonna put you down on the ground. Thank you. Ah, uh, he's such a good boy. But he does like to be in the thick of things, but like Scout did. So let's go ahead and keep going. Yeah, it seems to be actually working pretty well to, to spread the butter. Let's do one more temperature read on this and see how it goes. It doesn't feel like it's like super duper hot or anything. Yeah, it's 82 degrees. 83. 83.4. So I guess it's heating up a little bit. And even though the butter's cold, it's holding its temperature. So I guess that's a good thing. And the butter did spread. It didn't rip my toast or anything. Now let's go ahead and try this frozen butter to see how it fares. I was curious about the frozen butter. Like, okay, does it work well with just the refrigerated butter or does it work frozen? Because, you know, sometimes I 
I store my butter in the freezer just to keep it 84, 85, 85. Sorry, I love this thing. 85.1. So let's go ahead and give this a try. Uh, it's a little harder to get good curls off the butter. And I think a lot of what's helping is the curls are so small, they're going to heat up to room temperature much more quickly. And it's very warm in here because I had to turn off the air conditioner. So does not work on frozen butter nearly as well. Because it's, it's not curling, it's just kind of cutting it off in clumps. And it is tearing the, the toast more than it did with the refrigerated butter. See what I mean? This is the refrigerator butter. This is the frozen butter. So it does work better with, with refrigerated butter rather than frozen butter. But I guess it works okay. I guess it would have been smart to also do a control with a butter knife. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do one more temperature thing on here because I can. That's still riding around 84. So let's go ahead and do a regular butter knife, which I have right here. Regular butter knife. I'm going to use the refrigerator because it's obvious that works better. And of course, my butter has warmed up a good bit. So this is the toast that I already mangled a little bit. And it it's compared to the one that was with the spread that it the spread that actually worked better. It melted the butter as I was spreading it. Uh, this it still seems quite cold. It's not melting as I spread. So it seems to work better than oh, it seems to work better than just a regular butter knife. The regular butter knife is at 78.8 degrees because it's warm in here. So, yeah, so it seems to work. It's not like a miracle tool or anything. Um, you can kind of probably get around this by getting the butter that's spreadable straight from the refrigerator, like you can get in those tubs, or leave your butter out for a few minutes before you use it. So I don't know how useful it is, but I was intrigued by it. And also I wanted to do the temperature thing because I love this thing. I use it for making candies too and um, milk uh, if I'm making cheese. Probably not ideal for either of those things, but it works really well and I hate using candy thermometers. Um, so, yeah. Yeah. So I guess that's it. Um, yeah, I'll talk to you again soon. I don't know if it's going to be next week because um, in a couple of days I'm defending my dissertation and then I'm moving a few weeks after that. So things are going to get a really hectic, but uh, if I don't see you before I move into my new place, you're going to see me in a new place. It's actually pretty well suited for doing videos, so I'm kind of excited. So um, I'll talk to you again soon. Take care. Bye.